Nice shot. Collect a couple here. Outfield not nearly as fast as it was in Georgetown. They'll come back for a third. And an opportunity here for a run out. Just gets back in time. All no third man. We'll run all the way. Outfield not that fast, but it goes into the fence for the first boundary of the innings. That's gone through past Gully. This outfield not as quick as the outfield at border. But still a couple of runs, and uh, that should take a little bit of the pressure of Banga. No doubt about that. Last playing of the back foot. Caught in front. And uh, just what West Indies wanted. They've drawn first blood. A slightly fuller length from Merv Dillon. This is exactly what he wants to do. He's getting lateral movement. He has to keep the ball a bit fuller. That has played back to a ball that he should have been coming forward to. You can see the bounce. It's not going over the top. Absolutely no doubt about that being out. Mervyn Dillon knew. And of course, he got the confirmation from Daryl Harper. So we're sinners of shock. They have taken their first wicket. It's 18 for one. Rahul Dravid, the fine hundred in the first test match at border. And a very impressive test match record. Averaging 52.6. Runs on the onside. Another couple for Sanjay Bangar. The two changes in the batting order. Panga at the top of the order, driver the three. And drop it off the mark here with a boundary. There's no third man. And the second time in a couple of overs, the ball has gone in that direction. Look at those big scores. Fine shot. Nicely hit through the line. And a slightly over pitched there, Dylan and Banger dealing with it. Nicely forward there, Banger. Not caught in his crease. Just a bit too full in length there from Mervyn Dylan. Has the idea right though. Keep the ball reasonably well up to the bat. Just a bit too much up. Good shot though. Drifting on the leg stump and promptly prompt punished there by Rahul Dravid. Very strong off his pads. This outfield not the quickest, but the ball still reaching the boundary. Quite lush this outfield here at Queen's Park, but that was the wrong line. Reasonably good length. You can see Rahul Dravid there still thinking about coming forward, but just drifting into the pad. What a shot that is. Tremendous shot, shot of the morning. Not a doubt at all. Volley, in all fairness, to draw it, but he made tremendous use of it. Draw it is actually, the way he bats, is perfect for this pitch. He looks to get forward all the time. Now, it doesn't mean to say he won't make a mistake or he'll get a really good ball or a bad decision. That happens, as we know in cricket. But he's got the right idea to get forward whenever he can. Waited for the umpire's decision, it was quick. The bowler went up immediately, wicket for Sanford. And India lose a second opener, 38 for two. Well, I'm sorry about this, but this is a lazy, sloppy shot. This is an innocuous little foolish ball that's a touch wide. And when he gets in the dressing room and watches this, I bet he could kick himself. This is a nothing shot, a little waft at it, isn't it? Shouldn't really be missing that. It's a foolish delivery, didn't do very much. And again, I come back to it, it's mistakes that'll cost players in this game. 38 for two. Tremendous record, was uh, very disappointed at losing out on 100 in, uh, in Guyana. Averaging 58.7, it's an average that's been on the up. 
that's often a sign of a player who's still improving. Well, he'll get the runs. He'll get the runs, but he threw his bat at it. It's a 42 for two. Fine shot. That's punched down the ground. Tendulka off the mark. And off the mark in style. Shot. You can say that uh, the straight drive is the Sachin Tendulkar trademark shot. If you can say that the cut is a Brian Lara shot, the straight drive is absolutely, totally, exclusively Sachin Tendulkar's. That is beautifully executed. That's well played. Excellent timing. Just seemed to be a gentle push, but the ball's raced to the boundary. The 50 comes up for India. Nicely placed. No need to run for that. Driven and passed it off. Boundary for Tendulkar. Now that shot, he was in total control. Three for Tendulkar. Still two balls to go for lunch. And walked away on the onside again. Superb timing. Consecutive boundaries. That's a lovely shot. Fine stroke, reaching right up for it. Outfield not as fast as border, but it will go all the way. So boundary to start off the session after lunch for Dravid. Looking to get forward, big stride here. Just thinks of coming forward, a little step. And then he gets right into it. Edged. No third slip. No third man. Four runs. Oh, in that hurry. Oh, the backing up was was quite poor and that'll be five. Oh, he's not going to be happy now who should have been backing him for that i think sarvan was coming into the non-strikers end Run. good cricket all round 100 up for india with an absolutely beautiful shot and that's what you'll get very good shot this from rahul Dravid. Again, that turned out to be a half volley. Not quite the Yorker that Mervyn Dillon was hoping for. Fine shot. That's superbly played. It was bouncing. He was right on top of it and hit it hard. No staring about that. Very well controlled. Nicely on top of it. There's no gully. And Rahul Dravid has taken the opportunity here. Well, he certainly made a, a hash of that. So that's uh, Raul Dravid's 50. Dry down the ground following his 100 in uh, Georgetown. Straight drive. And uh, Cuffy rather got into a tangle trying to save it. And uh, like I mentioned, a typical Dravid shot. Punch down the ground, pass Midoff. Poor effort in the end by the man at Midoff. And his first ball is dispatched to the boundary. Don't want me missing out on them either. This pitch is very slow. It's the half volleys that you will find easier to score off, and that was one. This is pulled away, short, there is no protection for the fielder, no protection for the bowler there. Tendulkar making sure he didn't play with a horizontal bat, waited for the ball to come on. So that's what he would be looking for, to work the ball away with the turn to square leg. And it's yet another half century for the little champion.
And a well played half century. Hasn't been easy out there. Oh, what a shot. This is a beauty. Very, very good timing there. Just leaning into the drive. It's just a little teeny weeny bit of hope there for the West Indians because the ball was hit up in the air. Lovely shot that. Copybook. That's a poor effort. That is a poor effort. In this fashion. So he's hitting that to wide mid on. He's going around it, looking for runs, which is fair enough. He's been in a long time. That's what it does to you. Slow, low pitch. The ball is ball in tandem. Yes, it did come back a fraction, but I've got to say that's well pitched up. And not the sort of delivery at that pace that you expect to miss. But now the game's on. Oh, lowest pitch. Well played, but that's another mistake. 162 for three. Driver departs. Gambuli comes out to the centre. Batting at number five in this game. 55 matches, uh, averaging just over 40. At one stage in his career, he was uh, close to the 50-run mark. Good bit of fielding down there by the big man, Marlon Black, just got a wicket, could well have slipped past him, he's big, got down well. Yes, excellent effort this from the big fast bowler because he's just bowled it over, hoping to get a bit of a breather and a bit of rest down there. Instead, he's got to throw himself to his right and stop the ball to ensure that there's not a third boundary in the over. A crucial over for the West Indies. Instead of keeping it tight, it's cost him 11 runs, 173 for three. Things, uh, might have been. Oh, full tosses from West Indies fast bowlers. <laughs> Normally supposed to be short pitch deliveries or Yorkers at the base of the stumps, or base of your bat, not full tosses to be hit through the covers. This is poor stuff. Legendary Don Bradman. And that's straight down the ground. Chase here for Sawan. He's quick. And he'll pick it up. The ball was delivered was 125. It just tells you that they are just trundlers, uh, the West Indian bowlers. Difficult to call them quick bowlers. To just call them bowlers who pull the new ball. Second day, one can understand them slowing down in speed then. More runs. Another couple here. Ganguly reckons it may be a chance to go for the second, so he says no. Technically correct, as people like Tendulkar. But he just has to stay in, get on that front foot, and the runs will come. For him, he needs to spend a bit of time in the middle. And he's done well today. Uh, he's grafted hard. The time he's been in, and... Uh, He's made sure that he's not committed himself to pulling or hooking at any of the short balls. Floor, he could have pulled out of this at any minute, he was so slow. It's a problem for Sanford in this over. Already called once for running onto the track. He can receive one more warning, then top over. So one thing Lara does uh, occasionally, he gets big, big ones, doesn't he? Doubles, difficulty. Well, pick up a single here. That's not a bad thing to do, really. Sometimes you get the feeling he wants it too badly. Watch him just let the ball come on, and that's all he did, didn't it? He just little push at it, opened the face. He has fantastic timing. And he'll look for a couple here as well. He 
Yeah, see the bat open. It's like a late cut with a straight bat. I don't know how else to describe it. It, it is just playing a little forward push almost. It's Hurrying for one. Here they'll keep in things very tight. Now I think he's got a bit of an under edge onto that. If he has, this will be his hundred. No, it won't. Sanford now very quick around the boundary, but it's leg buys. Cracked away. They come back for the second. A little bit slack on the part of Dylan, and they get the second, and that's Tendulkar's hundred. 29 test hundreds for Sachin Tendulkar. Well appreciated by a lot of the people here in this Queen's Park Oval. For in the West Indies except the Queen's Park Oval. But still a lot of work for Tendulkar to do and he knows that. Every cricket playing nation in the world and, and I think the West Indies is probably the only one that has missed a Sachin 100 over the years. And as we can see him here reeling off a few shots it would have meant a lot to him and uh, he finally got it today and it, it was fully deserved. Not his most fluent effort but he'll just say look in the book won't he? Well again it was more the start than anything else once he got to sort of like 25 30 he didn't look back I mean he was he was a bit more selective after that before that he was a bit impatient he was trying to make shots but um once he got it in his head that it was a, it was, the wicket wasn't coming on as much as, say, the last Test match wicket, then he just sat back, waited on the bad balls, and, you know, in between that, he never looked troubled. And he does like to dominate, but as you said, he, he showed patience and then went to work, didn't he? Well, I, I think it was just maturity to, to accept. Good shot. Very good. Wide and uh, a little bit too full. I wasn't meaning pitch it up half volley. Leaned into it nicely. What, what's the flex in the front leg there? Bends down low, makes good contact. That's good balance. And it does make the difference. That's good shot again. That's the second time in two overs Lakshman has found the boundary. Dylan over pitching. I think, Ravi, he's a rather frustrating player, is that Laxman, if you're bowling and fielding. He, he gives you a chance, you think you're going to get him out, he plays and misses, and then he keeps smacking you for four if he stays in. So the scoreboard's going to go around quite quickly if he stays in. But all the time, as a bowler, a fielding captain, you've got to think, uh, you've got to be thinking, we'll get him out, you know, he, he's a bit loose around off stump. That's a fine shot. Cut off on the boundary. And that was uh, sweetly played away by Tendulkar. Good effort by Dylan. The umpire has just uh, raised the finger when the bat is padding away. That's close as well. That's out now. So Cuffey gets his man. Umpire De Silva's finger is raised. And Cameron Cuffey, after being exasperated the previous ball now removes the little maestro and that's a big break for the west indies and a deserving wicket for cuffy not on the evidence of his bowling this morning so much but on his efforts yesterday he's never really looked himself for such intendulkar almost 45 minutes today right in front that would have hit the middle stump it would have knocked the middle of the middle stump. Sachin Tendulkar out. Leg before to Cameron Cuffey for 117. And India have lost their fifth wicket for 276. No third man down there. And they'll go for four. Not a very authentic stroke from Latchman, but... Murray, Raptor goes without scoring, 
reward once again for Kaffi. India lose their sixth wicket for 282. Yesterday when Hooper inserted India in, they bowled wide down the leg side, wide off the off stump. Here now, they're concentrating in that zone where the batsman doesn't know to play at it or leave it, particularly if he's unsure of where his off stump was. Ajay Rathra definitely was not sure where his off stump was. Out for a duck on his debut. Pat Murray bowled Kaffi. India lose their sixth wicket for 282. Cracked away, square in the offside, that'll go all the way, that's a fine shot by Latchman. Fractionally short, he really does put away the loose ball very expertly. On the stumps. Man under it, takes it. Seventh wicket goes down, a wicket for Adam Sanford. Cameron Cuffey has been in the thick of it all morning. Well, I thought the last few balls beautifully bowled by Sanford. Deserved the short ball into his chest, sat him on his backside, couple of good length balls, then the short one again, he has a dart it. Highly amusing and entertaining cricket, but uh, from West Indies' point of view, very good, but India's really, really poor show. Harbhajan Singh, very poor batting, 287 for seven. Well, he got better balls for four. Lose half volley outside the off and that must exasperate Hooper. Well, it may have been a very full half volley, but it was a lovely shot. Got the bat into the ball and it raced away. He won't get there. Middle stop knocked out of the ground. Adam Sanford gets his third wicket. In fact, it's Zahir Khan who goes and a lovely sight for a fast bowler. Always a good looking sight that for in a fast bowler to see those stumps cart wheeling towards the wicket keeper. Seems to brush the pad on the way through, but doesn't matter, it's the end result. A wicket for Sanford, a wicket for the West Indies, 298 for eight. Pulled away down towards the boundary didn't quite come off the middle of the bat but enough to go into the boundary and to get him his half century Sanford trying the bouncer not really getting it right and that's a very good half century by VVS Latchman a very important one as well following his 69 in the first test match at border and that's well hit struck it away goes for four bad delivery from Dylan Really, no more than a rank long hop, and thank you very much. Latchman puts it away for four. Sliced away. There is no third man, it goes for four. There was room there for Srinath, he threw the bat. Dropped over the head of Hooper, may just have uh, eluded his fingertips. Four more. I suppose you can call it a chance. Continues to build, continues to frustrate. Now that Srinath will throw the bat at anything that is wide. Don't want to be giving him any room whatsoever outside that off stump. No third man. And that will go all the way. So a boundary to finish off the session before lunch. And Srinath and Natchman have taken a little bit of a gloss off the shine for the West Indies. That's a good hook shot. He's got it away. Two fours in the over. Good start here for India. Move on to 339 for eight. Ah! Gone leg before. So Black gets a wicket with Srinath coming right inside of his stumps. And the West Indies have finally broken the partnership up by the silver. Well, Srinath has batted in an uncomplicated manner before this. Now he's tried to be a little smart, try to walk, walk across and work the ball away to the onside. It's just not good enough to do that. And he's missed a straight delivery, and uh, he's plumb in front. But he's played his part in this partnership, which has added valuable runs for India. He's out for 18, India 339 for 9. That's gone. End of the innings, Carl Hooper picks it up. 
So Ashish Nera doesn't trouble the score, and India all out for 339. He wants Carl Hooper. Here's how Nera went. Well, the first to deliver is obviously wasted because they are way outside the off jump, allowing Nera to leave uh, them. This one, he was made to play at it. He simply wasn't good enough. Simple catch to the West Indian captain. It leaves Lakshman unbeaten on 69. Nera hasn't troubled the scorers. He's out for a duck. India all out for 339. No third man, and that will reach the boundary comfortably. That one uh, going off a pickish outside edge. That's gone away fine, and will find the boundary. That's a good shot. With off of there from Ashish Nera. And that was smashed away by Stuart Williams. Just enough with full in length and wide outside off stump, and he got that left foot far forward and across on this occasion. That's a fine shot. He was in total control of it. It's too That's a fine shot. Nice stride forward. Didn't try and hit it too hard. And the timing is good enough for the ball to reach the boundary. Four more. He adjusted well there, Stuart Williams. part of the back foot he's a good striker of the ball Chris Gale when in full flow more runs the garland of boundaries here well we've got a man here for a sort of spoon drive And he's got him, put him there, and straight away in action. The West Indies lose a wicket and Gill, never really fully comfortable, is gone again of Srinath. Well, the ball is deliriously happy, Srinath, but this is when it's nice to be captain and something works for you. You put the man there, the bowler and the captain get it dead right, and it's a little lollipop catch for the man on the drive. And that's when you the thrill to be to be captain and bowler because you're on the same length. Chris Gale for 13, 50 for one. Williams goes for the pole and does it in style. Gets into an excellent position. The bounce on that occasion, not as much as the previous bouncer attempted by Saeed Khan. That's magnificently struck. That's a tremendous blow from Stuart Williams. That pad, that's gone. Yes. Harbhajan Singh has got his man. And West Indies have lost the wicket to the last ball before tea. Stuart Williams will be most disappointed. He'd done all the work in making 43, but Harbhajan Singh has been rewarded for a good piece of bowling. Yes, he's pissed the ball a little further up. That's where uh, he's got his wicket, trying to force the ball onto the onside. Stuart Williams not being able to control that because uh, the turn was there. He couldn't make that adjustment, which he was able to make when the ball was a bit shorter, and he could play it off the back foot. This one, he was forced to play off the front foot. The nick going to Shiv Sundar Das, who takes uh, his second catch, and Stuart Williams out for 43 to the last ball before T. And the West Indies have lost their second wicket for 80. For one at that stage, having got the West Indies out in their first innings for 245. This is what happened in the afternoon session. Just past 
the diving gully between third sub and gully. That's not where he intended. He was looking for it in the exact opposite direction. So some excitement here now and encouragement for the West Indies. It goes for four. Yes, it might have gone for a boundary, but uh, the West Indians will certainly be heartened by the fact that uh, it was uh, an, a leading edge. Trying to play across the line. The ball holding its uh, way. A thick edge going past the diving fielder. Pulled away. The umpire has to get out of the way very quickly. That's a good, confident shot by a batsman who's in top form. But this was really a gift. Short around the leg stump. All Rahul Dravid had to do was uh, pivot and put it away. That's a lovely shot. Punch down the ground of the back foot. And just reaching the boundary. No follow through there really from Rahul Javid. Just punching it straight back past the bowler. That's a fine shot. He's got that away from the fielder in front of square. And again, a boundary for Dravid. Raul Dravid hasn't been afraid to play this full shot, but he, he has played it when the ball has, it has been at a comfortable height. Each time it has bounced up to the shoulder height, he has allowed it to go over his head, just ducking under the line. Lovely shot. Just leaning into it. Second boundary of the over. And the Indian 50 comes up, 52 for one. Out. Cut. Second slip, straight in. Almost a mirror image of his dismissal in the first. And the left elbow doesn't get bent enough, the shoulder into it. It's all bottom hand, is that? That's not technically great. And he'll get out like that, especially against better bowlers. 54 for two. Yeah. He's given it! Uh-oh! It wasn't a great appeal from behind the stumps. Cuffy well, had a big one. Well, I think that's out, Archer. I think it's out. I don't think that's bad. You just watch his body language as well, that'll tell you a lot. Raul Dravi turned around, he didn't want to look at the umpire. Watch it very carefully. That's out, I'm telling you, of the good. And you watch him afterwards, if we get chance, his body language. He doesn't really want to look at the umpire. I've seen that a million times, probably tried to do it myself as well. 54 for three. Now that's a big, big blow. The finger has gone up. We'll have to take another look at that one. Tendulkar departs for no... Tendulkar was uh, not, a, not... We couldn't really see Tendulkar there. He's been hit up. He's also, uh, he's been hit on the top of the pad. He's uh, standing up. I think the ball may have uh, gone on top of the stumps. Unlucky to be given out. That would have gone a clean six inches over the stumps. But that's not what the scorebook will say. That's what it'll say. Tendulkar, leg before for not. 56 for four. Oh, that's a good shot. Came down on it nicely, Ganguly. That's gone through. He's lucky. Stindies. He's away. He's off the dreaded tail. Well, no prizes for guessing who's the most relieved man on the cricket ground just now. Bowlers that India have in their team. Yeah. 
problems. That's the big show. And that's out. How many times have we seen the well pitched up delivery taking wickets, whether they be West Indian or East Indian wickets? That was a well pitched up delivery. He tried to get forward Ratra, but he's not really that far forward. Perhaps fractionally outside the off stump. You definitely have to say that as it is fractionally outside the off stump. And he is playing a shot, but he didn't quite come far enough forward to put the doubt in the umpire's mind. It's 2 out. 2-1-0 for 6, umpire's mind. Edged and caught. Just one ball for Harbhajan Singh. Good line there from Cameron Coffey. And again, a well-pitched up delivery. He celebrates as if the West Indies have just won the World Cup. First ball, outside edge. And uh, a safe catch to Chris Gale at first slip. And India have lost two wickets of successive balls. And there's a celebration which you see so often on the soccer grounds of Europe. Now seeing it on the cricket ground here at the Queen's Park Oval. Wonder what he'll do when he gets Sintendoka first ball. Harbhajan out uh, scoring 2-10 for 70 on a hat trick. Glorious shot. Certainly that's not the kind of shot you expect for a number 10 batsman. Williams the catcher, very good slip catcher, Stuart Williams, India lose their eighth wicket. Up on this game, India have a lead of over 300, yes, but I'm sure they think they can get 320, 330. Another good delivery from Mervyn Dillon, especially to a low order batsman who doesn't get behind the line of the ball. Bounce just outside Austin and he'll go fishing. Stuart Williams, excellent slip fielder. What a catch indeed. 213 for 8. Lovely drive. So long chase here for Lara. They've gone for two and they'll come for a third. Ganguly itching to get back into the strike and that's what he does. should be and he's gone well my goodness Zahir just uh, almost with his brakes up at the non-striker's end uh, pushed him mid off really an unnecessary run out and uh, that means that India are nine wickets down and that Nera will have to come in to face the last ball before lunch it might just be me, but I would suggest that Mr. Ganguly and Mr. Khan aren't sitting next to each other at lunchtime having a laugh. 218 for 9 India. They lost 5 wickets for just 13 runs in this game. 3 for Merv Dillon, 3 for Cameron Cuffey, who just keeps on impressing, and 2 for Adam Sanford in only his second test match. Here's the mini card then. India, big lead still, 312. We're 131 for 2 and they needed 182 to win. And the thing was, Brian Lara and Carl Hooper were together. This is what happened. He's hooked him, short, gave him ample time. He's a very good puller of the ball, Carl Hooper is. The first boundary of the day. Nicely played, very nicely played. Won't get a boundary. The outfield slows down over here. The soaking it has taken over the years, over the days. That is bad. Very good effort that by Harbhajan Singh. He has got a dodgy shoulder. It's very good running by the West Indians. They've taken three. They get three runs down the fine leg. Had a lot of ground to cover Harbhajan Singh. Did it well. We know that he had been having a few problems with that shoulder of his. So he was unable to throw it. Oh, that could have been a bit uncomfortable. 
No ball signal, punch down the ground by Lara. It won't reach the boundary. Just pulling up inside. Three comfortable runs. Shot and again pulled away. He's not in control of it. Just out of the reach of Shifts in the Das in front of the umpire. Starts off with a full toss and Luzner and bang down the ground by Hooper. Well, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You just cannot bowl such sloppy deliveries as to bowl the length. And there's no excuse for that. That's miles over pitched, is that? I mean, if you can't run up at this level and bowl six balls roughly in the area you want, you shouldn't be playing. It's the taker, Nero has struck. The big wicket of Lara. And just like in the first innings, he was out caught behind. It's a very similar shot. He can't believe. Maybe a touch wide, but that's the hypercritical. It's just a lovely length. You see, look at the length. Plays and it just bounces. Maybe he could have left it, but you see, he got used to Zahir Khan. New bowler. You just don't quite pick up the, the different line. And it's not. And it, it isn't. The, just because they both bowl left hand. They don't have the same actions. One's a skidder. This kid's a skidder. Zahir's a banger in. 157 for three. Brian Lara. Hooper has gone over the top. That's a typical Hooper shot. Got under it. Hoisted it. Good, confident blow by Hooper for four. Unlike Brian Lara, who could hit the boundary, so he needs to score the runs. Carl Hooper. And that's what he's trying to do. He's hit it with the turn. Very safely, there's no protection there for Arbhajan Singh. It's a safe shot, very good shot. Gone, Hooper has hit it straight into the hands of mid-wicket. Two big wickets for India, and uh, they know now that they're in a very, very good position. They've got rid of Lara in Nera's previous over, they've now got rid of Hooper. And the West Indies are 164 for four. Hit it along the ground. There it is, angled. There it is, around his waist. Didn't quite come up there. But straight to Shiv Sundar Das. And Ganguly. Boy, is he excited. The two danger men, he knows, are back in the pavilion. 164 for four. You want some? Strange shot will get him four. Got back and pulled it past the ball. It really didn't hit it with the middle of the bat. Rather high on the bat. You should normally see a pull shot towards mid wicket or square leg, but he just uh, slapped it straight past uh, the bowler. It wasn't exactly a pull shot because it was played with uh, a pretty uh, vertical bat. Little rattler. I should keep quiet the amount of runs he's made. That's a shocking delivery. That makes a captain look a fool. It's a full toss. Four men round the back. That's what I'm talking about. Really bad balls. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. It went wide. Can't do anything about that. He can't have slips everywhere. He's got to save some runs as well. That's four. He likes it there. That's really his favourite shot. Likes to open his shoulders and play big shots, that's Chris Gale. Why? Watch how full it is. The lovely shot. Foot to the pitch of the ball. You could hardly miss that. Look at that knee bend. Wasn't it wonderful? If he played a lot, a lot like that, he would get a lot. Shot, man, shot! Terrific shot. Beautifully played. Gorgeous, wasn't it? Bend of the knee again. Get that weight forward. Jeffrey, are you sure the person at the other end when you called last night was, was not Chris Gale, sounding like Ganguly? An hour ago. More runs, another boundary. They're gonna love it here. Lots of thinking to do for Saurabh Ganguly. Ten. 
in the air, but uh, too fast. And that's gone past slip. There is no third slip. That was uppish. It's beaten third man two, and the first boundary after lunch. That's better, but a lovely shot from Chris Gale. That's an excellent off drive. At least I've got him thinking about the drive now. Lovely drive this from uh, Chris Gale. We said earlier on he doesn't quite play the straight drive as much as uh, the off drive. This was more of a straightish off drive there. Put a big stride forward, covered the swing. Lovely drive. He goes through quickly, 50 for Chris Gale. And this has been a very, very good innings under pressure. That's a good shot. Hit that very well. There were two men out behind. That ball went to the boundary very, very quickly. Fantastic, really middled it, big swing. That was very quickly gone. Driving in the air, Chris Gale. Roger Harper doesn't like it. The West Indies lose a wicket with 75 to get. And once again, a bowling change has produced a breakthrough. We want the batsmen to get too accustomed to the bowlers. And this has worked again here for India. A bit wide, not quite to the pitch of the ball, Chris Gale. But he had been driving well. And I suppose he thought to himself, well, I can get to that, I can drive that. But it wasn't close enough. He lofted it, caught that point. Another wicket goes down for the West Indies. West Indies. They needed not to have lost that one. It's 238 for five. Oh, he's run away by the run. He should be out. The Indians think they've got him. What was Junior Murray doing? He's called for the replay. What was he doing? It's the non-striker's call behind the stumps. Impression is that he did not get in harsher. Not too sure why he thought there was a run there. Well, this will tell us exactly what the situation is. He's out by a distance. I had that impression. He had gone a long way down the pitch. No chance of getting back from there. He knows it. He knows it and the light is red. Another wicket goes down for the West Indies. This one not earned, this one granted. 238 for six now. Oh, that's not a happy dressing room. Junior Murray, his unhappy series with the bat continues. Now run out for one. 238 for six. Ball in oh. first ball. India reckon they're home now. Silence around the ground in the dressing room as well. Three and a half strikes. West Indies are 238 for seven. They're 75 adrift. Here, he didn't do that. You see, stays back, threatens to come forward. The ball hits halfway up the stumps. And he's looking at the pitch, thinking the ball didn't bounce. But he knows some of them don't bounce. And he should have been forward. 238 for seven. He's done that. And he's got away with it. He's got an edge there that's flash like lightning plus second slip. Brought up his 50. Give him West Indies another four runs. But I think it was the right ball. This time, has that gone of the glove? Black is walking. So there's uh, no real decision to be made by the umpire. The end seems to be coming nearer for the West Indies. India picked up their eight. And still 59 required. Trying desperately to come forward to his delivery. And again, you can see him trying to come forward here. But Javagal Srinath bouncing that as high as he possibly could. Not a great deal of assistance here for the fast bowlers. But Man and Black, not the most accomplished. Hit him on his glove, lobbed up, quite simply caught. 
254 for eight. The lead into the third test match, which starts at Kensington Oval Barbados on May the 2nd, a ground in which they've lost six of their last seven test matches. They've only played seven there. They've lost six and drawn the other. And uh, they will take real heart from this victory. Tremendous uh, boost for them, for the West Indies, where they've got to go back to the drawing board. That's a cracking test match.